So one of the things that's typically talked about is a risk assessment. You know, there's a cyber risk assessment as, as a physical risk assessment. Um, in many conversations with physical, people only think about, you know, the physical environmental space, not really the logical space that's taken in terms of technology that's out there. In cyber, we look at data, we look at how we protect data. But one of the components that people fail to realize is that they're looking at cyber assessments there's a component of it that requires physical as well. And believe it or not, in some of the regulatory bodies, they do talk about physical. I believe ISO 27001 does speak about it as well. And that component is protecting that data from a physical impact. And that means theft of the data. So if you think about it, you have to have convergence in it. It, it makes absolute sense. You don't want anyone just penetrating and walking right through to your data center to actually you know, break into your servers, right? You know, that makes, why would you want to do that? So. The reality is a lot of the um, compromises and vulnerabilities that occur is typically done in-house. It's, it's, it's internal. It's not really external. You do get external hacks, but a lot of it, majority of it is actually caused internally because of a fault or human error. It could be anything. So, you know, we're, we're starting to educate others that, look, you want to protect your data, but also protect the environment your data is sitting in. And if you don't do that, um, it's kind of relevant how much you're protecting your data. Because if anyone can just walk up and grab your laptop, that's pretty useless at that point. Right. So that's, that's one of the big things about convergence of physical and, and cyber, because you have to protect your environment, plus protect the logical space at the same time. 